Alright guys, I figured out why it was crashing on me. And I was an idiot and I apologize, but I actually it was here. I was accidentally accessing memory uh accessing the way farther than it was. I was actually accessing accessing two when I shouldn't have I should have been accessing one. So I kinda messed up there. There's not three elements in this array. Yeah, I had it at two before and I apologize and blah blah blah. I'm an idiot. But anyways, if you actually figure out the solution earlier, then you probably wouldn't have that error that I had earlier. But if you actually copy me and it had that error like I did, then it's because of that. I put a two in here instead of a one. I failed you guys, I'm sorry. Again. But anyways, you, if you run it, You should have a black window, yay! Because there's nothing else, and you should have this and your console window. So you initialize OpenGL with success, and you use the 4.0. And if you if you can't hand if your computer can't handle 4.0, then I'm sorry. You just gotta let you know you make sure you can handle it. Because if it doesn't, then all this stuff was for nothing, you know. So yeah, that's what we have. So right now I'm trying to figure out what's next to do. There's a couple of things I gotta do next. Which will contain a renderer function and all the So you know OpenGL is closed, we did that, graphics. Our next thing we can create this um we can create what's the name of that? We can create an abstract class which will have um which will have our initialize the scene and so that way we can have different types of scenes in the future. It will be easier to, uh, it's kind of confusing to to explain to you guys without actually showing it to you. But basically, we can create a class, an abstract class, which will have a lot of stuff in there, like the initialize, the update, and the render. And we can, you can always instantiate that class, which we'll use to, which will, that instantiate class, we will be declaring inside the framework. And it'll be, I guess, a good way to do it so that we can have different types of scenes in here. So we can have another scene, so sort of creating an AI scene, an artificial intelligence, another scene which will have our little, how can you say, our little game. I'm not sure if you guys want me to do both or not. And one thing I forgot, I just looked at it right now. Make sure in a framework initialize, you can call the window, the wind pause. Make sure our our global variables. You know what? I'm a. I feel like calling it something else right now. Hold on. Windows variables, global variables. Too. It's it's too long. Don't you think, guys? Do that and then screen width and screen height. You know what? I'm gonna call on system devs. So this is just definitions of of our system. Let's make sure you rename it to system devs. Make sure you go in there. And I mean it's nothing not big no biggie anyways. System devs. So yeah. I mean, it should compile completely fine. It should, it should, it should, it should, it should. There we go. So yeah, there we go, guys. I there's a couple more things that we gotta do, but most of it we finally have. You know what? We finally have our. Have our OpenGL. I kind of blanked out for a second there. I apologize. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff we have to do in here, but I mean. I, uh, like DirectX, DirectX actually initializes all your vector classes and matrix C classes. And may trying to give you all the matrix information. Like like OpenGL doesn't do it for you. So you have to define all this stuff, all of the like, build rotation axis, X and Y and Z and all that. I'm not sure if I want to do this with you guys because that's going to take forever. And you got to know your math stuff. So I'll, for now, I'm gonna let you guys do it on your own unless it's really simple I probably just created something simple like vector like vector 2 or 3 which you just gonna have X Y and Z whatever but other than that 
I don't know if you guys want me to do that. It's going to be boring and it's going to be a lot of math based for that tutorial. That tutorial is contain a lot of math. I mean, it, it'll be good for me though because that will probably be a refresher, you know, but I don't know. It's up to you guys. Uh, I have Vector 2s, Vector 3s, 4s. And for my other ones, I also have Quaternions and all that. But I don't know. I don't, don't know if I want to do that, you know. I don't know if I want to do that. But anyways, we still have to create. Since I don't really. Well, camera is not really necessary since it's 2D. We Oh, yeah. We start to create our timer class. So that will be our next tutorial. We can create our timer class. And then we can create our scene which I'm gonna call it game component it's gonna be an abstract class which will have our initialize update and render functions and also our release that will release all its memory that we can need in there so so that's gonna be next guys and after that I'll figure out what we gotta do next I'll be prepared for this tutorial so I won't be messing around like I have been so far and I apologize and I just realized I messed up on something right now again how come you guys didn't tell me when I wrote this? System height. Come on, guys. Okay, anyways, there you go, guys. If it worked for you, if you compile it, and you run it, then you should have this. If you have any trouble, let me know, and I can try to help you. Make sure you're using Visual Studio, because if you're not, then I have no idea how to help you. I can try. But I never ever use any other compiler, whatever. I never ever use them, so I'm not sure if I will be able to help you guys, but I can try. But anyways, if you have this, then that means you successfully, successfully went through this tutorial completely fine with any errors that, with no errors at all. And you're a ninja because you have a level four and you treat warnings as errors, so you should not have any warnings at all. Yay! So, in our next tutorial, we'll have a timer class, and I make in the game component class, and I make in it also do the camera. I don't know if I want to do camera yet, but we maybe, maybe in the future we will. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a thumbs up, and if you have any other ideas you want me to do, let me know, and let me know if you actually want me to do the math for the matrices and all that. I don't know if I want to do it, but if you guys want me to and there's enough people wanting me to do do it then let me know thumbs up this video if you actually want me to do it and comment below so and subscribe i hope you guys subscribe and watch my other videos too because because they're awesome so i'll see you guys next time and we'll continue the tutorial so signing out